everybody, John Wagdon here with Dev Central, and we are bringing you another Lightboard lesson video. Today we're going to talk about a really powerful solution that F5 has created uh, with respect to Cisco ACI and some capabilities there. Uh, but to start off, I want to talk about ACI in itself. And Cisco ACI is the application-centric infrastructure. It's designed uh, to be infrastructure for software-defined networking. So as SDN has grown in popularity over the past several years, um, Cisco kind of took a step back and said, hey, let's create an infrastructure specifically designed for SDN type capabilities. And so this infrastructure was built with the application in mind to make it easy to deploy and manage and all of those things. So, so that's what Cisco ACI is kind of founded on. A, a part of Cisco ACI is this, uh, this thing called APIC. It's the Application Policy Infrastructure Controller. And it's the main architectural component of the Cisco ACI solution. Uh, so in Cisco's own words, it's the unified point of automation and management for the Cisco ACI fabric. Uh, it does policy enforcement, it does health monitoring. So this is like the, the brains, the central nervous system, if you will, of uh, ACI. ACI is built in terms of hardware with a few different devices um, that are called, like the, the, some of the large ones are called spine devices, and then there's other leaf devices. Uh, from a big IP perspective, you could have a big IP that would maybe hang off of one of these leaf devices. Um, so just from, a, from an architectural perspective, uh, that may be you know, what, it, what it would look like. Um, the, thing that it, the thing that we wanted to highlight today, though, is with the ACI and all that in mind, F5 has created this F5 ACI Service Center app. And the F5 Service Center app can be uh, downloaded from the Cisco ACI App Center itself and it runs uh, natively in APIC. So you install it in APIC, you enable it there, and then the, you know, so this app actually runs inside of APIC. Um, there, are, there are three main uh, capabilities that I, that I wanted to talk about that this app, this ACI Service Center app, gives you. And the first one is visibility. So I'm just gonna write these up here. So visibility is the first one we'll talk about today. Um, from a visibility perspective, you have, uh, like on one side, you've got ACI, and then over here you've got Big IP. And on, in the ACI, you're going to have different components. You're going to have things like uh, a tenant. You're going to have an app profile. So app profile, it's a P right there. And then, uh, and then also an endpoint group or just endpoint, and you would have like members of that. So on the ACI side, you're going to have those things. On the Big IP side, if you've uh, been around Big IP at all, you understand that there's like VIP with like a port number. Uh, you have things like pools. You have node, uh, nodes, that, those kind of thing. And then you have the ACI Service Center app here in the middle. And again, from a visibility perspective, what the app is going to be able to do is it's going to be able to discover like a pool or a node, let's say on the Big IP, and then map that back or have visibility back to what components of the ACI fabric those are mapped to, as it were. So, for example, if you have a node on Big IP, the question is, what EPG member does that map to? And then what app profile is that a part of? And then what app or what uh, tenant is that on? And so this ACI Service Center app is going to be able to map all of that together and give you visibility uh, to these different endpoints um, on Big IP and how they map back to ACI. So super powerful stuff that wasn't there uh, previously. So visibility is a really key uh, factor on what this app is you know, going to be able to do for you. Another one that it allows for is network stitching. So I'll say stitching here. Network stitching. So this is like a layer, you know, layer two, three uh, capability. And the, the common network object between ACI and Big IP is a VLAN. So, uh, so you'll have ACI over here and you'll establish a VLAN on it. And then of course you have your ACI Service Center app here in the middle and then you've got your Big IP uh, components over here. So what, what would happen previous to this app is an ACI administrator would, would establish the VLAN there, and then would tell the Big IP administrator um, the VLAN and subnet information, and then the Big IP administrator would then have to figure out the network topology over here, um, like what interface to use, that kind of thing, and then configure the VLAN and self-IP 
over here on the big IP. Um, and so that's how it used to work. So now that you've got the app in the middle, the ACI VLAN is still uh, established, but then the app actually captures the VLAN that's destined for the big IP, and then the VLAN tag is automatically populated within the app itself, right? And then the admin on the big IP can enter the self IP. So I'll just I'll put you know self IP information over here. Uh, can use can in, can enter that using the app, and then the configuration is pushed from ACI over to Big IP, so or or from APIC to Big IP, I should say. So this app is able to uh, to discover and uh, and stitch together, as it were, the networking components. Um, you know that that would be that would be there between ACI and Big IP. So very powerful stuff. This is also supported, by the way, on all the different form factors or on several form factors. Uh, VCMP, uh, VE, and then uh, and then the hardware the hardware appliance itself. So uh, so this network stitching capability is there um, on all the different form factors. So that's a really powerful solution as well. And then the last one I was going to talk about is uh, deals with app services. So app services. There's that. Um, app services uses the or the app itself uses uh, an AS3 declarative API. And so I'll just uh, to write this down really quick. So here's uh, here, here's the AC, ACI Service Center app, and so an AS3 uh, declare, declaration declarative API. Um, you can you can use use that on the app itself, and then that allows like upper layer automation orchestration tools to then deploy F5 virtual servers in a single uh, API declaration, and, and essentially you declare the end state of like the VIP requirements, that kind of thing, over here on Big IP. So I'll put, you know, Big, big IP over here. Um, and then the user can deploy this AS3 declaration um, using the app itself. So you can do this uh, using a pre-built or a custom template. Um, you, you essentially just say, hey, here are some at deployment variables uh, that you need, uh, and you use that you know, in the app itself, and then the AS3 declaration is run, and then you know, the, app, the, the application is built out over here on Big IP. A couple of things um, that this allows you to do is lock in features uh, that you would want to set, maybe as an administrator, uh, different security requirements that you would want to have as part of your template here, uh, for your uh, declaration, and then you can you know you can lock those in. So as you start to deploy this out with these uh, with these tools, um, you know then that's that's a really powerful solution as well. Another thing that you can do on this is once you use um, you know this this AS3 declaration um, to uh, to build out the application, then once it's built out, then you can come back up here, frankly, back to the visibility part, and you can have visibility again over hey you know. This big IP just had virtual server of this. Uh, maybe you've set up profiles or I rules or whatever it is as part of your declaration. Then you can come back up here, at least on the uh, big IP component part, and be able to map that back to the different endpoint group, profile, tenant, all that. So, uh, so all these can really start to work together. So I'll put a check mark next to that one as well. Um, a couple of things that, uh, that I would note about all of this is that you don't have to do all of these things. Um, with the app, you can do one or two or all three or whatever you want. So they're not they're not necessarily uh, you know uh, dependent on the other one. So you can do them independently of of the other two. Also, the app itself is stateful, so it keeps a database of the big IP state. Uh, so you can log off and log back on. Nothing is lost. It also keeps uh, information on the network configuration itself. So that's a really powerful thing. Um, this is supported on greenfield and brownfield deployments. Uh, another thing is you can actually delete the app or remove the big IP from the inventory um, and it won't impact the ACI or the big IP configuration. So you can just add it back in and then the auto discovery happens again and everything gets built back again. So, so that's a really powerful thing. Uh, the app itself is supported by F5, so that's a, that's a good thing to know as well. Um, and then also with, with F5 just as, you know, as a whole, uh, we have an API first mentality at F5, and so uh, so while you can do all of these things uh, with the user interface on the app, you can also automate every bit of it um, by using uh, the API. So uh, so that's really powerful too. Everybody everybody loves to automate. Why not automate it, right? 
uh, rather than click through all the different things yourself. So anyway, so those are some really powerful things of, you know, to, to highlight on this really powerful app that you can go download, which by the way, if you want to go download this thing and check it out for yourself, uh, click right here on the, uh, or, or check out this URL uh, here at the bottom of the screen and you can go, you know, you can go find out for yourself, go download it and, uh, and see how powerful it is for yourself. So hey, so thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. I hope you've learned a few things about the uh, F5 ACI Service Center app. Um, if you like this thing, you can click here on our Dev Central logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you guys out there in the community.